Hey Baja teams, hope you're doing well. My name is Mike Zeman and it's everybody's favorite time of the season. It's time to turn in the cost report. We actually had really good participation this year in the cost pre-check. So many of you have already been into the online system and have started to report and we thank you for that. If your car's cost is still sitting at 600 and something dollars because all it has is an engine in it, you better take immediate action. You've only got a little bit of time left before the cost report has to be turned in. We've received a couple of uh, questions from teams asking how exactly do they go about doing this, turning in the new cost report, because they, we have a whole new system this year. No sweat. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to turn in your online cost report. So in order to show you this, I've got a team member view of uh, Bahasa.net CDS web pulled up here and I'm using the SAE Brazil placeholder account so that I can show you around. So we start off by going to the online cost report system link on your team member menu. That's right here. From this view, you see that we have created our 2018 car. Uh, we've built it out. This is my final cost. And let's suppose that at this point I am done We've put everything in there we're going to put in there. It all looks right, and I'm ready to turn the thing in. So once you're ready to turn in the cost report, there are two ways you have to do it this year. One is the new way. This is the online submission, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. On the Manage Vehicles screen here of the online cost report system, you see a couple of things. You see your team's vehicles up here at the top, but you also see your competition slots for the various competitions this season down here at the bottom. You see in, in my example here for SA Brazil, uh, we have one competition that we have registered for, Baja SA Kansas. We were assigned car number 12. So in the cost system, you can create all sorts of different vehicles for what if situations, or we hold on to your previous year's vehicles. So the first thing that you need to do before submitting this is to tell the cost system which vehicle you're going to send to Baja Kansas or any of your other competition slots. So right here I have car number 12 at Baja Kansas. I only have one vehicle and I just need to tell the system I'm going to send that car as car number 12. So once you do that, we now have other options over here and this is where I submit my cost report. So if I'm completely finished with building out all of my costs, bill of materials, all the parts, assemblies, all that other stuff, and I'm ready to turn it in, I go right here, I select that I want to send that particular vehicle for that slot, and I say submit now. Note comes up that tells me you're about to turn it in. Are you sure? If you have more than one competition slot and you have selected that car, like that particular vehicle, for more than one competition, it's going to tell you it's going to go ahead and submit them to each one of those competitions right now so that you don't have to click the button three times. It also reminds you that you still have the ability to change it all the way up until the deadline and then a couple of days after the deadline if you want to change it and incur late penalties. So it says, are you sure? I'm going to say yes, I'm sure. Okay. So it's submitted. That's all there was to it. Notice it, it tells me that the cost report was submitted on time, so that's good. And I also have an option here up until a couple days after, um, after the due date to reopen it for edits. So if you, if you find stuff that you need that, to, to update that was wrong or maybe a few things that you left off of the first one, you can still do that all the way up until the due date. No points off, no problem. If you click this button after the due date uh, and you have to turn it in again, you will receive points off in that case. So please get all your stuff in before the due date. It works just like the old submissions used to. You have about five days after the, uh, after the due date to, to make any final changes and you'll get a certain number of points off each day. So it's telling you here, yes, you can reopen it if you need to go change things. But So I can say OK. Now it says it's reopened for edits. I can go add another assembly, swap out other things. Uh, and then I can come back here and submit it again. Uh, and it replaces the, the previous submission. So I'm going to go ahead and submit it again. OK, submit it on time. No big deal. So that's the electronic portion of the submission. 
Now this year, because this is a transition year, the cost team has asked us to go uh, one more step and create something called the E-bomb. This is something that we haven't done in Baja in the past. It's not too hard, and we've put the tools in here for you to do it, but this is helping us during this transition on the cost team side to use all of the tools and processes that we have in place for some of the uh, Excel and spreadsheet driven stuff for judging those reports this year. So the cost team will be using some metrics that are pulled from the online submission and some metrics that are pulled from the EBOM this year. So you have to do both. It's really important that you realize that. Click here is the first step. That's the online submission. Then you need to create the EBOM. So how do you create the EBOM? I'm going to show you right now. Under this export and print menu, there's this option for export EBOM data. You have to do this on the vehicle that you submitted. So if you have five or six vehicles in here, export the vehicle EBOM data for the one that you actually turned in. Otherwise, the cost judges are going to be really confused and they're probably going to count points off for that. So pick the vehicle that you submitted electronically. Come here and say export EBOM data. So, this page talks about the export of the EBOM data, and it's got a nice little set of checklist items here for you to follow. The first step is to download this special Excel template for the EBOM. It's right here. You can click on it, download it. I'm going to save it. Okay. Now, what we've done here is we've exported the data needed to populate that template for you. So you don't even have to go copy any of that other stuff. We've got two boxes right here that, sh that have all the information for the EBOM that you'll need. So simply open up the EBOM Excel file. There's two tabs to this Excel file, so we're going to do them each. So the first one is right here. So it tells you step number two. Open the template, copy and paste the summary sheet. So that's right here. And copy this guy. Copy all this data in this first text box. Jump over to Excel. Right there where we have paste here. Paste it. Oh, I gotta enable editing. There you go. All right. And there we go. There's all your summary information for all your different systems. So the second step is to do the actual bill of materials summary. Same idea. Click the second text box in here. Make sure you select everything. Right click, say copy. Come in here, say paste. And there's your whole bill of materials summary. So I'll do a quick Quick look over this. Don't get excited. This is actually test data that I generated from something else. So you're not seeing Brazil or anybody else's uh, actual data here. Uh, the last step here is to fill in the information up here. I'll make up a school name, but put your school name here. All right. So all of the EBOM data is now filled out. Wasn't too bad, right? Now, a very small number of teams have asked us questions about what to do if they're planning on attending two different competitions and there'll be different vehicle configurations between those competitions. Like for example, you want to run a different set of tires in Kansas than you did when you came to Maryland. So that is allowed. Um, what we ask you to do this year is file a rules question and the cost judges will help you through a quick process to create a few more tabs in this spreadsheet that will allow you to account for those differences. So I'm going to save this file and close it. Step four, perform a quick sanity check on the information. You saw me do that. Please do a more thorough job than you saw me do in this example. <laughs> Step five, update team specific information at the top, such as your school name. We did that as well. Save the Excel document and step seven, submit it in the My Teams report and document submissions area of CDS Web. Okay, so we are ready to do that. Let's go to activity menu, report and document submissions. Here's a spot for the EBOM. Click here, browse to select the file.
There's my e-bomb. Open. Upload. So, now at this point, I have completed all that I need to do to turn in my cost report. Make sure that you do both steps. Both the online submission and the e-bomb are required for this year. And they are both required before the due date. And submitting either one of them after the due date will incur penalty points. If you have any other questions, you can consult the online cost report transition page right here. That links here it takes you to this page. We'll post this video and a similar PowerPoint there for your reference. If you have additional questions, uh, we recommend that you go on and file a, a rules question based on the cost rule, and we will get to answering that. So I hope this helps you get everything in shape for this year, and we'll see you guys at competition soon.